Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Yeah, I got a Nissan. This thing is mint and it's perfect. You got your crusty here. You got your dust. You got your paw prints from animals. You got bugs flying out. You got a musty smell in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. I gotta be careful going around here because I opened up to get fuel. Oh, I got stung. Open up the, damn it, Jesus, whoa, 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 open up the fuel door and um, it, uh, there's about 500 wasps in there, so, yeah, this is the, this is the perfect automobile here for me, and spider webs everywhere. Let me put the hood prop up here. Okay. We got a 2000 Nissan Xterra. It also has the basket, actually, for it that goes up in there. Um, I'm going to stay away from this side. Monkey had to go to the store, she's gonna give me some spray. But here's an issue. The squirrels got up in here, and they chewed some wires off there, and they chewed a bunch off over there, which that goes in to the fuse box. So, yeah, okay. All right, let's do an intro, and then I'll tell you a little backstory on this thing. Okay, so the backstory. Richard, the guy I work on his stuff for is lawn mowers and um, that little buggy thing, that adult size go-kart thing. Uh, you know, I do a lot of work for him on different things. His neighbor, I, just, I was over there the other day, I rode my bike over to check something out for him. And uh, he lives over on the river. And I looked across the street, there was a cul-de-sac there. And I seen the back end of this thing sitting there. And I said, what's the story with that? And he said, I don't know, it's been sitting there eight or 10 years. He says, that's my neighbor's, he's, he's a really cool guy. I'll find, I'll ask him about it for you. It's okay. Well, shoot, I was barely home. It only took me 15 minutes to get home. I was barely home and he had called. I called him back. He said, yeah, the guy will sell it. So what you want for it? He said, couple, couple hundred bucks. So I went, me and Monkey and I went back down and talked to him last night. And uh, I looked it over some more. We got to talking. He started at five. I said, I can't do five. He said, well, can you do four? I said, no, I can't do four because of the wiring issue. I said, give me your rock bottom right now, the lowest you'll go. He said, 300 bucks. So I talked to him about it and everything. I'll tell you the story about it here in a minute. Anyway, I ended up getting it for 300 bucks. I went ahead and, and we bought it. We just had it towed in. Here's a clip of it unloading.
so yeah so uh what happened was eight years ago no you know what it was 10 years ago because the title's 2014 when he had it put in his name from his wife's name so 10 years ago you know this was his wife's car drove it every day it's supposed to have I don't know, 70 80 thousand miles on it now someone screwed up on the title it says it has 225,000 I know it don't but his wife drove it every day and right before she quit driving it and I'll tell you why here in a minute you know he had a bunch of air conditioner work done on it and new distributor put in it and you know all, all that stuff and remember it's a 10 years of the go though so yeah um, you know she drove it in one day and she passed away and it sat there and sat there because he he has another truck he drives and he went to drive this one day and well there was nothing and then he raised the hood and there was you know squirrel's nest here this is the 3.3 liter v6 it's a four-speed automatic and it is only a two-wheel drive but so that's the story on it that's the original spare underneath there and he just put tires on it before it was parked now it sat underneath an awning and you know so uh you know i, f I figured for 300 bucks i couldn't go wrong it cost 100 to have it towed here um so i'm gonna see if i can get it running and see what all it needs if it doesn't need a lot i'll make it road worthy and i'll sell it as a running driving vehicle so i think i can clear a grand on it um depending like i said what's wrong with it. i mean it's gonna take me a long time to this won't be so bad to clean off i'll pressure wash this but i, I bought this strictly just to just to try to make a couple bucks on so i mean as you can see it's pretty nasty in here and uh, that window has been down for 10 years like that so but yeah so i'll have to get all that straightened out but it, it's all original so yeah i mean the steering wheel you know it'll have to have a cover on it but anyway underneath of it looks pretty good there's, you know, we're in Florida, there's no rust underneath it or anything like that. So, yeah, he spent a bunch of money putting them tires on and stuff right before she died. So he put a lot of money into it before she died. And I was like, yeah, but you know what? That was 10 years ago, so, yeah. He had a new fuel pump put in it and all that. But like I said, it's 10 years and it's been sitting. So, you know, that stuff might have to be because you know I set a limit on something like this on how much it's going to cost and if it's going to go over my budget I'll sell it as parts if I have to I'll part it out but you know these engines are going for thirteen hundred dollars on eBay so I think I did all right but anyway here's a video for you I'll do some more videos um, I'll have to call some scrap yards and see if I can get that harness. If if not, I'll have to run these wires. I'll have to cut the plugs and run the wires. You know what I mean? Uh, just run them straight. But you have to pull this off. You have to pull the plenum off. You don't have to pull the intake, but you got to pull the plenum off to get because these are, you know, fuel injection wires and. You know other stuff like that so I don't know I'll just see what I can find I can't find them online but I know a junkyard would have it probably so yeah um, I don't know if it turns I'm not sure it's got a clutch fan so you know um, I just thought for 300 bucks there's 300 dollars worth of parts on this thing and uh,
So yeah, we'll see. I mean, I could probably wash it up, and clean it up, and detail it and sell it the way it is, you know, non-running because of wiring issues. And I could probably almost double my money on it. Because, <clears throat> I mean, this thing, it's a 2000, first gen. You know, I mean, there's no rust. There's no dents. You know, it's never been wrecked or anything like that. So, yeah. But, this will be a little project to get this running. So, that way I can uh, turn a couple bucks on it. Yeah, it's just a two-wheel drive, but it's got a good stance, you know, it's got the running boards, it's, you know, got the racks up there, like I said, it does have the, uh, there's the thing for it, the basket that goes on top, and he said the thumb screws or whatever are in here somewhere, yeah, there's one here you just screw that onto the top or you can take it off so but yeah anyway that's what I bought 300 bucks if I can't make a couple hundred on it then I'm doing something wrong but I mean once we wash it detail the inside I think I think it'll it'll be a good looking vehicle uh, I'm not sure I mean it was in the shade and under an awning and I don't see any uh, dry cracking yet but we'll see we'll, we'll just have to see because you know I'm not gonna put brand new tires on it and sell it ain't gonna do that that'll be up to the next guy but it makes somebody a good work truck and you know a first vehicle or whatever a fishing camping vehicle but yeah it's the Xterra where that top goes up is cool but yeah they were made for outdoorsmen apparently I've done some research on them comes with two extra tires and then it's got this thing like some kind of thing I don't know what it's for but yeah we'll, we'll just have to get into it and and check it out it does have the class 3 trailer hitch on it he said he put it on so I don't know I'll have to check that and make sure it's on right and all that but he used it to pull his boats and stuff so yeah alright guys so there's a video for you if you want to if you want me to I'll film washing it uh, pressure washing it and uh let me know in the comments if you want to see that. A lot of people like to see it. I myself don't like to watch guys wash their cars, but, uh, you know, maybe I can speed it up, you know, or something like that. If you want to see that, I'll film it for you. So let me know in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, uh, everyone. Take care. Oh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend, God for now. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. <laughs>